Nice to have you with us. Yes. Uh, 
there's no name. There's no, no name. there's no name. Okay, here's the big CEO guy. And it's, I mean, mm. How did you want to help her sort of move up and find her? Boy, she does change in the span of 90 minutes. Her trajectory was always one that really intrigued me because it played very much against type for me in terms of characters. I think she's been feeling a lot of these resentment of feelings for a very long time. There's a fine line to toe between being silent and quieted, but also completely active, reactive, not saying. Directed by my husband, Charlie McDowell, who still was her fiance when they shot the film last year. Working with Charlie is such an act of He's incredibly communicative and collaborative and just grounding as a director with this what you also want in a life for her. We were also planning the wedding at the same time. We're dating because we would shoot and go home and like write and bite. <laughs> so it was definitely um world in the best of ways. Give you notes on your performance and what the napkins are for your hundred percent, yes. <laughs> The Netflix phenomenon Emily in Paris debuted its second season in December, with two more already in the works. Say Ami! Ami! So cute. What is it about Emily the character that you loved when you first read it? I, I love her positive, can-do, solution-driven attitude. She's bright, bold, bubbly, and, and a little bit obvious. And that's okay. Changes season two coming off season one. You know, the beauty of, of being able to go to a second season is that from season one, you can kind of analyze a lot of the thoughts and the comments that came out about the show or people's discussions surrounding the show. You can do better in a show. So for season two, we want to have more for all of the characters, more diversity in front of the camera and behind the camera. So, which was fantastic. Being able to have the you know, French language, which I Actually, I love the girl studying. She had an adult. Hey, Jean-Marie. Jean-Marie. Do you consider yourself both British and American? I do, okay. but in my heart, I feel more European. You do? I do. Collins is the daughter of star British musician Phil Collins oh. and his second wife, American Jill Tavern. Did you pick up on your father being the performer that he was? that life at all of what it could become? I mean, I think I remember being a kid at Disneyland with my dad and having someone come up and ask him for a photo. It was that kind of recognition no matter where he went that he had touched the life of somebody in a very profound way. And if you're an entertainer, you are putting your heart in your sleep. And to be able to have the kind of confidence and strength to do that and also maintain a sense of privacy, that's a fine line. A performer since childhood, Collins studied broadcast journalism at the University of Southern California. But she dropped out when she scored her first movie role in the 2009 hit, The Blind Side. How are you for the day? I like that. What was that like to, in your first film, act alongside Sandra Bullock, who won the Academy Award for oh, that performance? God. What an introduction. What well, did it show? People kept saying, this is not normal. Your first film does not normally do this. I was like, okay. She's the most eloquent, knowledgeable, kind, down-to-earth woman who treats everyone the same. It was my first experience, and she made it something that I wanted to continue doing. Colin since has starred in a number of high-profile roles. And soon she will return to Paris for another run in Emily's Shoes. We're talking about the heel situation. Oh, right yes. In Paris. It's a situation. I think this is where I need to get an on set today because I was going to an office and every other So, what's still out there for you, Emily? I'm excited to have a family one day of my own or our own um, to continue producing. I want to keep telling stories, but also to continue surprising myself with the roles that I play and trying to just stay as, as in the moment as possible. Lily's new film, Windfall, is streaming now on Netflix, where you also can find season two of Emily in Paris. Our big thanks to Pinto Garden Restaurant in New York 
for hosting our conversation and for all the luck hours. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down Podcast and the full-length interview with Lily Collins. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week on Grammy Sunday, we revisit one of our favorite conversations with the artist Her, nominated for eight of those Grammy Awards and recognized as one of the most talented musicians in the world. Her, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get a quick check of your local Sunday weather. Good morning, I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ryan Miller. We have some sunshine out there, and we're all dealing with some pretty cold weather. In fact, we're going to stay cold throughout the day today. When those winds turn gusty this afternoon, wind chills are going to make it feel like it's in the 20s and 30s at times. We're going to see some snow flurries as well. 20s to start your Monday, back to around 45 degrees for your afternoon high temperature. 50 Tuesday, Wednesday, it looks like we're going to see some rain showers late, staying and lingering into Thursday. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including the story behind the Ukrainian custodian at a school in Georgia, moved to tears by the kindness of students and teachers there. But up next, the prominent art museum, whose highly anticipated new exhibit is curated by its security agents. We'll explain when we come back in 30 seconds.